the f do you think you are? Who the f do you think you are? Shut f up. I'm out here and I'm trying to f say my lines and you're f pulling focus. You f***ing idiot. Johnny Depp has responded after a former co-star accused him of verbally abusing her on a movie set. Lola Glaudini, who appeared with Johnny in 2001's Blow, made disturbing claims on the Powerful Truth Angels podcast that the actor had shouted expletives at her during her first day of filming. Johnny Depp, when they say cut, walks over to me. He walks over and he goes, comes up to me, and sticks his finger in my face. And I'm in a bikini on the ground like this. And he comes over and he goes, who the f do you think you are? Who the f do you think you are? Shut the f up. I'm out here and I'm trying to fucking say my lines and you're fucking pulling focus. You fucking idiot. Who the fuck do you think? Oh, now? Oh, now it's not so funny? Now you can shut up? Now you can fucking shut the fuck up? The only thing going through my head was don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Lola explained that Johnny's alleged outburst came after director Ted Demi, who died in 2002, had instructed her to laugh during a monologue Johnny was about to perform, claiming that the filmmaker didn't acknowledge the alleged incident and left her feeling, quote, totally hung out to dry. Lola's comments originally aired in a January 2024 episode of Powerful Truth Angels and resurfaced weeks later, prompting a denial from the star's team on March 19th. Johnny always prioritizes good working relationships with cast and crew, and this recounting differs greatly from the recollection of other members on set at the time, a statement to Access Hollywood read. Additionally, Sam Sarkar, a member of the Blow sound team, claimed he didn't come across any audio like what Lola described, saying, I worked on that movie in the sound department. As a sound person, you're constantly listening to what is going on on set, listening for noises, listening for chatter. In fact, specifically, I would listen to Johnny's audio to check for interference, both during rehearsals and during the take. I never heard anything like that, and that would have been a remarkable event. During her podcast interview, Lola went on to allege that Johnny had offered what she called a, quote, non-apology apology at the time. He sees me walking and he goes, hey, Lola, can you come here for a sec? And I walk over. And um, he's like, he's standing in the door frame of his trailer. And he's like, you know, so he's looking down on, you know, there's like steps. He's up there and I'm there. And I was like, yeah. And he says, and he gave me a non-apology apology, right. you know, and he's like, you know, so earlier I was like really in my head and I was staying in character and I was really like, you know, I'm doing this Boston accent and it's really f with me. And so, you know, I'm just like a little tense and stuff. <laughs> my Boston accent is yeah. yeah, yeah, I hate and, that. yeah. And, uh, you know, so I just wanted to make sure that, you know, we're cool and everything. And I just looked at him and I was like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Of course. Oh, wow. What are you talking about? Wow. Totally cool. <laughs> and that's acting.